Hello everyone, it's Steve from Aircraft Specialty with part three of our Let's Talk About Hose video series. Now this video is actually going to be really exciting. We're actually going to show you how we fabricate the hoses once you order them. So the first step in the hose fabrication process is cutting the hose. Once we've marked the hose to the final length to your specifications, it's time to make the cut. Now this may seem like a fairly easy task, but we have a very specialized saw with a special blade that's extremely sharp and is able to cut through the stainless steel braid hose. But in addition to that, we need a special blade so that we don't end up uh, creating any serrated edges on the Teflon hose, getting any debris into the hose, and also we don't want to uh, dent the hose at all. After we've cut the hose, it's time to lay out all the components. Uh, you can see that organization is very important. So here we have the hose laid out as well as all the fittings, fire sleeve, fire sleeve bands, and covers. Next, it's time to come over to our hose crimping machine. Now, we have a very specialized industrial crimper that is able to crimp your hoses with extreme accuracy. When we crimp these hoses, we're able to crimp within an accuracy of a couple thousandths of an inch. What you'll see right here is you'll see a little um, holder for the hose, and that's to keep the operator's hands away from the uh, hose crimper because this thing is extremely powerful. Once we've done the initial crimp on the hose, we actually rotate the crimp fitting slightly and crimp it a second time. And the reason we do that is just to ensure that the entire collar is crimped evenly. Every fitting we crimp gets a micrometer put on it to verify that the tolerances are correct. Then we slide fire sleeve onto your hose, and then it's time to do the second fitting. Now, the hose that we're fabricating here had a straight fitting on one end and a 90 degree fitting on the other. The hose uh, assembly process is the same. So here you'll see the crimping device crimp down onto the 90 degree fitting, rotate, then we crimp a second time, and when that's complete we release the jaws and remove the hose from the machine. Once we've completed the crimping process, we come over to our hose testing equipment. Now you'll notice that this hose testing equipment is a stainless steel uh, box with a very thick plexiglass cover that's for operator safety. And it operates on the principle of filling your hose with water first and then introducing pressure to the hose. Uh, and what we do is, we once we've pressurized the hose, we verify that there's no leaks, no water coming out of the fittings or the crimps. What we're doing here is we're pressure testing the hose up to 2500 PSI and then we're going to let your hose sit for 30 seconds under that pressure. Now that may seem like a lot of pressure, but you have to remember that that's the continuous working rated pressure of this hose. So when we're doing this, um, the burst pressure of this hose might be around 10,000 PSI. We test it to 2,500 PSI, and in your aircraft, it's only going to be running maybe 30 PSI. So there's a huge safety margin on these hoses. So long as there's no leaks, we're good to go. Once we finish pressure testing your hose, uh, we put them uh, all out and have them ready for shipment. And that is the complete process from start to finish. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.